Miss Frodo, and today, in honor of spring arriving at some point in the future, I wanted to show you my spring slash Easter themed beanie babies. I also have one attic treasure. These came out at the same time that like the first beanie babies were coming out, but they're a little more um I don't know, adulty, I guess. They weren't quite as bright and colorful, they were a little more like a Boyd's Bear or something. So this is Rosalind. She says everything is coming up roses. They don't have rhymes in them like the Beanie Babies did. But she's got this pretty little flower uh, necklace and a flower in her hair. And she's got articulated arms and legs so she can sit up like a teddy bear. Next up I have I want to say Quackers. Yes, this is Quackers. He's got a tag protector on, so we'll take that off. There he is. And his tag says, Quackers. There is a duck by the name of Quackers. Every night he eats animal crackers. He swims in a lake that's clear and blue, but he'll come to the shore to be with you. You sit down there, Quackers. And then I have four rabbits that are all done with the same pattern. They're just different colors. I think this is my favorite because she's like tie-dye. And her name is Hippie. Ha! <laughs> Hippie and it's tie-dye. That makes sense. Okay. Hippie says... Hippie fell into the dye, they say, while coloring eggs one spring day. From the tips of his ears down to his toes, colors of springtime he proudly shows. So there is Hippie, and he does have a little bunny tail. Next up, the green one is Hippity. This says, Hippity is a cute little bunny. Dressed in green, he looks quite funny. Twitching his nose in the air, sniffing a flower here and there. And he's got a nice green little bow around his neck. He's a very um, pale green. I don't know if it's going to come off blue on the camera, but he is a pale green. Very Eastery. And next up, this is Hoppity. And this says, Hopscotch is what she likes to play. If you don't join in, she'll hop away. So play a game if you have the time. She likes to play Rain or Shine. And she's got her little pink ribbon. Set her right there. And last up for this style of rabbit is Floppity. Hippity hoppity floppity. And this says, Floppity hops from here to there, searching for eggs without a care. Lavender coat from head to toe, all dressed up and nowhere to go. And there she is with her little purple ribbon. Her little bunny tail. And last up, I have two more, like, realistic-looking rabbits. Um, <laughs> and these guys are Nibbler and Nibbly. So we'll take a look at Nibbler first. So a little more rabbit-like, not quite as, like, teddy bearish. And Nibbler says, Twitching her nose, she looks so sweet. Small in size, she's very petite. Soft and furry, hopping with grace, she'll visit your garden, her favorite place. Bunnies do love to eat the vegetables right out of your garden. And this is Nibbly. And their tails are a lot more fluffy um, and furry than these guys. It's just like the regular material on the tail, but these guys have little fluffy tails. And I really like... Nibbly's fur because it's sort of a mottled color like gray and brown so it really looks like fur. And there she is from that side. And Nibbly says, wonderful ways to spend a day, bright and sunny in the month of May, hopping around as trees sway, looking for friends out to play. There is Nibbly. Here is one last look at everybody. These guys are, again, from my childhood. Um, so they are from the 90s and early 2000s. I think you might still be able to get some rabbits that are similar to Nibbler and Nibbly, but I don't believe you can find these guys in stores anymore. You may be able to find them at yard sales or thrift shops, though, because people 
get rid of their Beanie Babies. They can't sell them for a million bucks like we thought we would be able to back in the day. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching Miss Frodo's Toy Horde. Bye!